Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Got something exciting for us all to watch today. Right off the boat from Hong Kong, actually it was DHL, so it was a plane. Right off the plane from Hong Kong, we have Hot Toys' latest. This is the Spider-Man upgraded suit from Spider-Man Far From Home. And I, this is a cool figure. Actually, I wasn't expecting to get this. I was going to get the, uh, you know, figured I would wait down the road, maybe get some more of the PS4 game Spider-Man figures. Uh, I have the Spider-Man 29 and then the uh, Mark IV armor. Uh, I didn't do unboxing videos for those, but I, I really like the head sculpt for Tom Holland in this one, like, a ton. So I was like, okay, I got to get it just for that. So... Um, if, you, if you're unfamiliar with Hot Toys, they're high-end, uh, one-six scale figures that are made in Hong Kong, and they're the highest quality. I got my first one when I was at uh, Secret Base in, uh, in Hong Kong. I got the Kylo Ren from Force Awakens. So that was my first, and now this is my fifth, and uh, more to come. I've got several pre-orders, so it's running out of space, but really love the box art here, as you can see kind of have the Mysterio helmet look here. Uh, and you can see Spider-Man peeking through there. And then here's the back of the box with our usual legal ease. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this, this unboxed. So we have a nice little slip cover that comes off. And underneath here, you can see we have the figure or the picture of and then a little bit of information on the back of the box. But if we open the flap, ta-da, there we have it. That is the upgraded suit Spider-Man. And that is just, uh, yeah, just look at all the hands. So very cool stuff. Uh, and let's take her out of the box and see how this goes. So uh, I, like I said, I didn't intend on getting this at first. I like the upgraded suit because of the black and red. A little different than normal your normal Spidey figure. Normally, it's you know all the blues and red. Um, you have the the black suit, obviously, but the black and red combination is actually uh, the first combination from the first Spider-Man look that we ever got. So he started off kind of uh, black, but the way that you know black was inked back then kind of had like a purplish uh, hue to it. So, but yeah, just look at that. How cool is that? So uh, we have, uh, you know, looks like we have four sets of eyes. We have the start glasses, the, uh, the cell phone. Let's see, a mask that he can hold there, the head sculpt there. Looks like we have a drone to go with our spider. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can take this off in pieces here. Go ahead and set that aside. And then it's just, once that part comes out, this top piece just comes straight up. And we can see that uh, this is a separate piece here that houses uh, the eyes. We'll be real careful with that. You don't want uh, eyes flying everywhere. And then there's our top there. And just look at that that spidey figure. So go ahead and take this little uh, plastic blanket. It's been keeping him warm. And take a look at the figure here. Give you a close up. Pull the bag off and there you go. Look at that head sculpt, that's awesome. So one issue that the Hot Toys had before would be there would be a seam that would come down to the front uh, of where it was sewed. So they actually moved that here on this. They moved that a little further back. So you can kind of see it just a little, little bit on the top. You can see this stitching goes right here. But from a front view, you can't really see it. That's great. Um, like the color is just wonderful. You can see we have the, the silver access lines, accent lines right there. Uh, this is kind of a, um, like a vinyl rubber type material, uh, the way it feels. And, uh, wow, it just, it, it looks great. And then we have the silver spider on the back. And on the upgraded suit, since it's accurate to the film, 
we have the web shooters are actually built into the suit. So it's not the second piece that goes around his wrist, like the, uh, the Stark upgraded suit. So you can see that a little more clearly here. Like I just, I love black and red. It's just a phenomenal combination of colors. They just make you, they, they go very well together. They really complement each other. And uh, Hot Toys always does a great job of uh, packaging. Lots of, uh, lots of tape, lots of plastic. I'm actually trying to, to get the boots off down here. I don't want to damage anything. Uh, you can pre-order this right now from uh, sideshow.com. I think they have a release date of April. I was able to pick this up from Toys Wonderland where it's uh, available now. It's a little bit more than uh, Sideshow, but uh, you know, to me it was worth it. So there's the, the boot. And there we have the figure. So off camera, so you take a look and see the other accessories in the box. Uh, I'll show you all that in just a second. Just trying to get this last piece of plastic off without damaging the figure. That's when you spend, uh, you know, what these figures cost. Which, by the way, I mean, as a collector of Spider-Man, um, to me, it's worth it. You know, I, I don't have uh, any kids or any major vices. Uh, quit drinking a long time ago. So this uh, definitely uh, works for me. So... We'll have Spidey so over here chillaxing in the background as we take a closer look at some of the accessories in the box. So we have the uh, the end of the web extender. So this you know this is where it connects to the wall. Uh, we have our stand, and we can see upgraded suit Spider Man. We also have a uh, thinner than usual action uh, action stand. Oh no, this is the one for the uh, the drone. Excuse me. So, so there's this one uh, action stand. This is for the drone, and then this is the the regular one uh, for for Spider Man. And let's see. So we have all manner of webbing here as you can see um the drone which just looks really nice it's actually surprisingly very light but you can see where that uh, pegs in into oops sorry where that pegs in uh looks like there so that looks nice, gives you some uh, nice uh, options for displaying. Uh, but the real star of the show, which, once again, be careful. Wow, it's heavy, is the Tom Holland head sculpt. I mean, just look at that. That is crazy. Look at how awesome that looks. And it's just a, it just sits on... I mean, the, you could see the paint, the wash. Even has like a little bit down in his face, but that, I mean, that's scary good how much that looks like Tom Holland. So let's let's go ahead and take a look and see what our good old friend Spider-Man looks like. So it's just a simple head comes right off. It's on a ball joint. Let's see inside there. And then try not to knock the camera and then just goes right in, and there you go. That just looks nice. The, the neck looks a, a little long, a little, little skinny, but yeah, I mean, I think that's just phenomenal. So if you like, when I saw that head sculpt, I'm like, I really gotta get that. Um, because not only will that look great on this figure, the upgraded suit, but I also have from Spider-Man, well, Homecoming, Far From Home, but this is actually from Far From Home. 
the uh, tech suit Spider-Man, which I really love this hot toy. So it's, it's so cool to be able to have both of these Spideys next to each other. Really dig that suit. You can see, so they're they're the using the same body. They look very similar, same height. A lot of the same stuff going on here. But the you know the biggest difference, of course, other than the color, you know, you have the web shooters. So, but I was telling you about earlier. You can see kind of how the seam. The seam is right here, whereas they moved it further back. So that's nice. But. Let's go ahead and swap the heads out so we can see what the Tom Holland head looks like on a Far From Home preview suit. And yeah, I mean, just, just look at that. All right, looks just like Homecoming. Remember that picture? So we have the Tom Holland head sculpt on the text tech suit so that just that's just great right there if you if you don't have if you don't have any hot toys i mean they, they aren't cheap but man i tell you there, there's just nothing like seeing them in person they are just they're wonderful but i i can't wait to do some more posing with this uh it, it's easy to know, but I just want to give you a quick comparison of the stitching. But you can see these are the two uh, heads. Uh, the one on the left, you can see, is the tech suit, and this is the upgraded suit. So uh, very similar, but that stitching makes a big difference. You can see also the web lines seem to be darker on the upgraded suit. So uh, I'm 100% I'm sure that that's movie accurate. Uh, now, you might, have to ask, you might want to ask, how do you change uh, the eyes out? Um, that's a little bit trickier, and uh, I don't. I'm not going to manipulate the camera for that, but uh, might upload some pictures of that later. And then also, let me get these out. I'm going to show you the uh, the Stark glasses. Also, there's the uh, the secondary mask. So if you wanted to have uh, one of the spidey hands of him holding the mask, you could have him holding it uh, with the mask off. So that looks really neat. So you, you can't put this over his head. It's not um, kind of flattens out a little bit, but sorry, a little bit. But yeah, this isn't big enough to put a head in. But it looks cool if you want to pose um, Spidey holding his mask. But yeah, th this I think is really neat. These are the, the Stark glasses. Very cool looking. So we have kind of like the blue tint here. And we're actually gonna, I'm gonna swap that head back. I really love the Tom Holland head sculpt. I just think it's really cool. They did a really good job on that. And it goes on and off super easy, just you'll, Take my word for it. So the Edith glasses just fit right over the ears. They're they're kind of a they're kind of like a, a metal material, so they go over pretty easy. But yeah, take a look at that. How cool is that? So yeah, and then you could also uh, pose him holding the glasses. But yeah, that's uh, that's really cool stuff. Man. Well, look, you know, I think Hot Toys has really outdone themselves again. This is just a wonderful figure. Uh, I, I just love the material. Uh, the colors are just phenomenal. Um, you can see the arms, uh, they ratchet in and out. Uh, just everything about these are, these figures are just, just the best. They're just the highest quality materials. 
They look screen accurate. I mean, I just, I, I don't have enough nice things to say. So if you like this, definitely check out toyswonderland.com. If you want to get that, uh, it's, last I checked, it was still in stock. Uh, if not, Sideshow has it up for pre-order if you want to save a little bit and you don't mind waiting. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to put in some, put him in some more poses. So I uh, hope you liked this video. Um, please uh, click the like button if you liked it and uh, we'll do some more unboxings. I've got the Captain America from Endgame um, pre-order. So we'll have a, uh, we'll have an unboxing of that coming up. Um, and then as you can see a little bit here, I'll move the camera around. I've got um, a lot of the, uh, the Mezco's Batman's, uh, so Mesco 112. We had some Beast Kingdoms figures uh, as well. So uh, probably have some uh, Beast Kingdom unboxings coming up as well. So, but that's it for the the Spider Man look. So everybody, thanks so much for the time today. Hope you enjoy the video.